GPAC tournament semifinals action at Lynn Farrell Arena. It's the Morningside Mustangs in town to take on the Hastings College Broncos. It was a tough day shooting the ball for Hastings. They went the first nine plus minutes of the ball game without scoring the basketball. You can see they got good looks at the hoop but couldn't get the ball to drop. It's Bruckman here, no call despite the contact. She snatches down the board but good defense by Morningside to block the shot. Offensively, Morningside shot effectively enough to build a solid first half lead. This, this is Jessica Teets, nine points for her. And this time it's Ashlyn Mole off the nice feed. The Broncos finally get on the scoreboard here when Van Kirk fires up the three-pointer. That one goes, but a double-digit lead for Morningside at half. Second half, the Broncos were able to make it a game at a few moments. This is Laurel Zwiener. She can't hit the first time, but grabs her own rebound and finishes the job. Then, HC's Chanel Farmer with the nice jump shot for two. The Mustangs forced the Broncos to take perimeter jump shots all night long, and the Broncos just couldn't get enough of them to fall. Hastings drops its fifth of the season, 65-55. Now due to their number four national ranking, the Broncos still have a great chance of receiving an at-large bid for the national tournament. The Hastings men unfortunately lost this afternoon, as well at Dort, 83-67. They too have an outside chance of receiving an at-large bid for the national tournament, but only time will tell.